Hello everyone! Welcome back to today's music lesson. Today we will be focusing on music rhythms. We've talked about a lot of these before, but we're going to be using them in a different way today. So, music rhythms are the music notes that tell us what to play. Alright, on the screen you will see our first music rhythm. This is called Ta. Notice that it's a dark circle with a line standing up right next to it. There is also a um, long black line under the ta. So that is important. I, we haven't added that before to our music notes. But for today's lesson, we're going to call that line underneath the music note a beat line. Okay, so each rhythm I show you today will have a beat line. For today's lesson, we're going to call that ta bread. All right, next music symbol we have is ta di. Look closely at the beat line, so that's that black line under the notes. So even though ta di is two sounds, it lays on one beat line. That's very important to remember. Today we're gonna call that note pizza. All right, next rhythm that you will see is called ta-ah. So ta-ah is also two sounds, but this one's a little bit different. Look at the beat lines underneath the note. There's one directly under the note, and then there's another one that looks like it's under nothing. It looks like it's empty on top. So that means we actually start the note on the first beat, ta Ah, today we're gonna call it cheese. All right, so just quickly, we're gonna focus on bread. That's on one beat line. We're gonna focus on pizza. That's also on one beat line. And we're gonna focus on cheese. That's on two beat lines. All right, so I need you to bring out a paper and Pencil. Please use pencil for this activity. In case you make any mistakes, it'll be easier to erase quickly. All right, so I actually have multiple sheets of paper ready because we're going to use a lot of paper today. I'm using a marker just so that you can see what I'm drawing clearly. But remember, you need to use pencil. Okay, let's practice drawing these rhythms. So our first one was bread. We're going to do that dark circle and shade it in as best as you can with the line standing right next to it. Let's draw our beat lines. Remember, that's that line that goes underneath. And we said that we are gonna call this bread. B-R-E-A-D. So your bread should look like mine. And I know I'm probably drawing this a little fast because I have practiced a lot. So remember, if you're taking a little longer, that's okay. Take your time. All right, let's get another sheet of paper. And let's practice drawing pizza. So we start off the way we draw bread. It's that dark circle with the line next to it. But then we add another one, dark circle with the line next to it, and we connect both on top. All right, let's add our beat line. So remember, even though it's pizza, two sounds, it sits on one beat line. That's very important to remember. Okay, and let's write pizza on the bottom. So that's P, I, Z, I'm gonna put a dash there, Z, A, pizza. All right, I'll give you some time to finish yours. Yours should look just like mine. All right, next note that we saw on the screen was cheese. That's that long note. 
Okay, this one's different. It's gonna be an open circle. We don't shade it in. And then we put a line standing right next to it. This one is two sounds, but it has two beat lines. So the first one should be right under the note. And then the second line is right next to it. There's nothing on top of it. All right, so we're gonna write cheese. C H E dash E S E. So if I were to play this one on my hand, it's gonna be like this. Cheese. Okay, let's bring out all three notes that we just reviewed. bread, and pizza. Okay, before we put them together, we need to practice them by themselves. So let's try pizza. It'll be like this. Pizza. Did you see that? I said two different sounds, but I didn't tap two different sounds. Did you notice that? So I'm going to try it again. Pizza. Yeah, that one's going to take some practice. Okay, the next one we called was bread. So remember, it's one sound, and it's on one beat line. Bread. I feel like that one is the easiest one. Bread. All right, here's cheese. Remember, it's two beat, beat lines. Cheese. Very good. All right, let's get another blank sheet of paper. Actually, let's get two blank sheets of paper. Alright, we're going to make a beat pattern together. So on the first page, we're going to draw four beat lines. I go first. So it'll be one, two, three, four. On the second paper, we're going to draw four more beat lines. One, two, three, four. All right, before we make our rhythm, so we're gonna put together some pizzas, some breads, and some cheeses on these beat lines. But before we do that, we only have one rule. Make sure that our pattern ends on a cheese. Okay, so here's what I need you to do. Bring out your pointer finger. We're gonna count the lines. One, two, three, four. That's the first page. Second page, five, six, seven. On line, beat line seven, we're gonna draw our cheese. But we have an extra line at the end. Do you remember why? That's right, that's because our cheese is two beats. It takes up two beat lines. All right, I'm also gonna write cheese underneath, so don't forget what we call that. No. Okay, we're gonna make a pattern together. So I'm just gonna tell you what to write. Since I can only use one cheese, remember that's that rule, it needs to end on cheese, I'm only left with pizza and bread. So why don't we start with a bread at the beginning. Remember, it's a dark circle with the line standing right next to it. And we're gonna write bread. B-R-E-A-D. Okay, we have our first beat line filled in. You know, I really like bread, so I'm gonna add another bread. Bread. And do the same thing, but you just do it on the second beat line. Hmm, I got a little tired of bread, so I feel like eating pizza. Pizza kind of looks like bread, but we have those two dark circles on one line. Don't forget to connect them on top. Okay, we also want to write the word pizza underneath. And you know, one slice of pizza was not enough for me, so I'm gonna do another slice of pizza right next to it. You 
just do the same thing, but on the next line. Don't forget to write what kind of food we assign to it. Okay, let's stop right there. So this is the first page. Notice that the four beat lines are filled in already. Okay, so we're actually gonna practice saying these. Okay, bring out your pointy finger. One, two, I go first. Bread, bread, pizza, pizza. Yeah, okay, so even though I'm saying pizza, I don't tap twice. I just say it twice. I'm actually just tapping once. Let's try it again. Go back to the beginning. One, two, listen closely. Bread, bread, pizza, pizza. All right, let's go on to the second page. Since I can only use bread or pizza, I think I'm gonna change the pattern a little bit and go back to bread on the second page. So that's a dark line and the dark circle. Bread. Hmm, you know, I think I want some more bread. So the next beat line, I'm gonna add another bread. Okay, notice that our third beat line is already filled in because our, your pattern needs to end on a cheese. So that means that seventh beat line needs to start with the cheese. That way we can end with it. So that's already filled in. Are we done with page two? Yeah, we are because we don't have any more beat lines available. They're all taken over. Okay, bring out your pointer finger. We're gonna practice the second page. One, two, I go first. Bread, bread, cheese. Let's try it again. One, two, do your best. Bread, bread, cheese. All right, boys and girls, let's go back to the very beginning of our pattern. If you look at the whole pattern, we have a lot of delicious food food on here. We're going to start from the very beginning. When we get to the second page, we're not going to stop. We're going to keep going. Okay, so don't stop. Just keep going to the very end. Bring out your pointer finger. I go first. Bread. Oh, let me count you off. One, two, do it with me. Bread, bread, pizza, pizza, bread, bread, cheese. Good job. So if you didn't stop between page one and page two, awesome. If you did stop, that's okay. We're gonna practice it again. Bring out your pointer finger. One, two, do your best. Bread, bread, pizza, pizza, bread, bread, cheese. All right, I hope that time was a little easier for you because we've been practicing this a lot already. I think we went over it four or five times. All right, remember, you're going to create your own pattern. So we practiced one together, we created one together, and we practiced it four or five times. Now it's your turn to make your own pattern, okay? So you're gonna do eight beat lines, just like we did. It can be on two pages, like mine. Um, but yeah, let's keep it on two pages, so it could look like mine. So you're actually going to submit two different pictures. So your first page and your second page. Remember, we're making a combination with bread, pizza, and cheese. Don't forget that your pattern needs to end on a cheese. That means that on beat line seven, you're gonna put that cheese there and it takes up how many spaces? Yeah, two spaces. All right, boys and girls, good luck.